There are various different protocols on how to achieve glycogen loading or supercompensation because the main idea behind glycogen loading is actually to increase glycogen concentrations, um, so amount of glycogen stored in the muscle above what you have on a normal day. Usually this is achieved by eating plenty of carbohydrates on days leading to the event. However, um, most athletes actually train the day prior to the uh, race so they have an easy activation, right? But those um, easy sessions still require some energy. And this means that you might actually um, end up eating or uh, using the glycogen that you've stored uh, previously. So I am a believer that you can do um, an effective glycogen loading with just an intake of carbohydrates the day before the event. So how I do it is that I do the training session on the day before the event um, after an overnight fast. So very early in the morning, it usually involves like two hours or one hour and a half of cycling at low intensity that ends up with um, a very hard effort that lasts around two, three minutes. And the aim of this is to actually um, cause the muscles to uh, become hungry, let's say it. Um, and then um, as a result of that, you uh, can store more glycogen. So when I get home, the first thing I usually have is regen. Uh, which contains protein because I need to recover and some carbohydrates and carbohydrates here it is very important that you have uh, different um, types of carbohydrates so fructose and glucose based carbohydrates so that you replenish both liver and muscle glycogen stores and then in the first four hours it's very important that you get enough carbohydrates in so I usually aim for uh, around one to 1.5 grams per kilo of body mass per hour. Um, and this is plenty of carbohydrates and it usually eat Haribo's because, um, or gummy bears, because they are um, easy to uh, digest. They don't contain any fat. They don't contain any protein though. Um, also, they don't contain any fiber, um, but they have sugars uh, made out of uh, fructose and glucose, which is perfect for liver and muscle glycogen stores. And after those four hours, I try to have a normal meal, which means some rice, some chicken um, or tuna. Um, I avoid a lot of fat, um, so I avoid eating uh, white sauces, so I prefer red sauces. I am still on a low fiber diet, which means that I can't really eat a lot of vegetables and I can't eat um, a lot of fruits either. And then in the end, throughout the day, I still eat like plenty of rice some protein um, so that I can still hit the um, daily protein requirements. Um, and in the end of the day, the amount of carbohydrates that I ingest on that day um, comes to around 12 grams per kilogram of body mass. Um, for some athletes, 10 would be enough. And in terms of protein, I try to go with two grams per kilogram body mass of protein a day or even more. Um, and for fat, I try to keep it very low um, just for the sake of that I can or actually overeat on carbohydrates, which are the most important um, source of energy on that day.